Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time or you're still newer to our family, I want to encourage you to try five. That's our challenge where for five days in a row, your kids listen to some awesome stories to use their imagination and watch their creativity come to life. You see, we make stories every single day for you and uh, you just never know what kind of story you're going to find on any given day. So hang with me for five days, whether maybe driving in the car or maybe during lunchtime. And I think you're going to find something pretty amazing happens. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful evening in the middle of the forest as Jude and his dad were out camping. A monster, Jude yelled, pointing excitedly at the ground. It's some kind of, I don't know. Jude's dad hurried over with a smile on his face as his hiking boots shuffled across the dirt. Jude had been looking for kindling or you know some small sticks when he found a small mound of mud with a hole in the center. Jude didn't look away as his dad approached. He kept his eyes glued to the muddy hole. Two antenna and an alien-looking body peeked out. Do you know what this is? <laughs> Jude had never seen anything like this strange life form before, but this is exactly why he loved camping. You never know what kind of crazy interesting things you might find. Oh, Jude, that's a crayfish. They have an exoskeleton. That means their skeleton is on the outside of their body. On the outside of their body? No wonder they look like monsters. Why does their body look like that? asked Jude with wonder. Their exoskeleton protects and supports their bodies. All right, come on back to the fire now. It's almost time to get ready for bed, said Jude's dad. Jude followed his father back to the fire. Here in the forest with his dad, Jude was pretty sure anything could happen. Jude looked around curiously. It was so dark. Nothing like the streetlights or glowing homes near their house. What other wonders waited for him out here? The campfire cracked and snapped as its warm and cozy glow shined in the darkness. As Jude and his dad approached, they looked up at the twinkling stars above. Jude rested his chin on his hand. I bet they feel tingly, Jude said. (laughs) What are you talking about, Jude? The stars. I, I bet they feel tingly, like when you touch... That electric sphere at the science center? The one that makes your hair stand up? Yeah, I bet stars feel like that. (laughs) Sounds like you're getting a little sleepy there, Jude, said Jude's dad. Just then, a white light streaked across the sky. Dad! Jude yelled. Do you see that? It's coming this way! Suddenly, Jude and his dad were swept up as if there was some invisible rope pulling them up and up and up. What's happening? I feel like I'm at the carnival, yelled Jude. Jude's stomach somersaulted as they zoomed with the bright white light higher into the night sky. Star after star flew by Jude and his dad. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Hey there, you look like the kind of adventurer who needed a night flight. Who are you? asked Jude as his stomach was still doing cartwheels. They slowed and Jude looked from light to light. 
amaze at the number of stars that had already surrounded him. My name is Pollux. You can find me up here any time. And hey, there's my twin brother, Castor. Together we form... Gemini, Jude's dad interrupted. Together you form Gemini. Ha ha ha. That's right. Together we form Gemini. Say, you want to say hello to my brother? Sure, Jude said wide-eyed. They coasted through the night sky for a moment before stopping. Hello, shouted Jude into the glowing light nearby. Everything felt magical. Jude didn't want to miss a single second. It should have been scary soaring up into the sky. Yeah, that definitely would have been scary for me. What about you? (laughs) But Jude wasn't scared at all. In fact, Jude felt safer than he had ever felt before. He knew that these stars meant no harm. He had an overwhelming sense of protection like he was wrapped up in his grandmother's quilt. Oh, hi there. It's nice to meet you, said Castor. Castor had a soft, gentle voice. It made Jude feel warm and cozy. I see you've met my brother, Pollux, uh, and he took you on a night flight? Wow, you must be fantastic if, if he's doing that for you only. Those with hearts full of wonder and joy join us on night flights. Jude smiled shyly. He liked to learn about everything he could. Maybe that was why Pollux had chosen him for this adventure. I had just been asking my dad about the stars. About, I I guess, about you, I mean. I thought maybe if I touched you, it would feel tingly. But being with you, it, it isn't tingly at all. It feels safe. We're very glad that you and your father were able to come on this adventure with us. There have not been many humans that have gone on such a journey before. Just then, a glowing stone about the size of a marble floated towards Jude. The stone was blue with golden swirls dancing across its surface. Jude watched it come closer until it was just inches away from his nose. This is for you. Keep it with you. It will fill you with warmth and light. It will keep you safe. Jude wrapped his hand around the rock, clutching it closely and smiling wide. He couldn't believe it. As soon as his hand closed around the rock, he felt a magical feeling, one that he had never felt before, although it did remind him of being wrapped in his grandmother's quilt. It was nothing like the tingly electric feeling he had imagined down at the campfire. This was a million times better. It's time to go, Pollux said. Soon the sun will rise. Although Jude was sad to leave, he understood. Thank you, he said, his heart almost bursting. Jude closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, he was in his tent. Crickets chirped, and his father snored beside him. (laughs) Had the night flight with those two stars been real? must have been a dream. Rolling over in his sleeping bag, sadly, Jude slipped his hand under his pillow and, wait, he felt something small and round. Grabbing it, he pulled it out from under his pillow and opened his hand. There in his palm was a blue stone. He squeezed it tightly, feeling that warm, safe feeling flood him all over again. Jude smiled and closed his eyes as he drifted off to sleep, knowing that That adventure was in fact not a dream. It was real. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hey Barons, Mr. Jim here to tell you why our kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, thanks Osmo, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to actually encourage learning in a way that's really exciting. 
I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. You see, Osmo uses real, tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys that interact with an immersive digital experience. So don't just watch, but play along with your kids and have a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. The Genius Starter Kit comes with a base and a reflector that fits most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shout Out. So I want to say hey to Clay and Nola from California, Lucy from Texas, Kevin from Rhode Island, Gwen from Canada, Don V from North Carolina, Oliver from New Zealand, Chance from Colorado Springs, and Quinn from Connecticut. I'm so glad that you're all a part of the Kid Short Stories family. We definitely could not have this much fun with imagination without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!